now that I'm away from Firefox, dumping Firefox, did a video about that. Um, but uh, where do I go? What do I do? Well, we're going to be brave about it. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And in the middle of, you can see there's still a ton of Star Trek uh, ships and figures and everything else that I don't want to move with me to Florida. I need to save space for many other things. So if you like Star Trek, you want some of the old Star Trek stuff, uh, my eBay link is in the bottom of this, in the description of this video. And maybe you can pick up something that in your collection that you don't have. So all this stuff, I'm just blowing out. It's, it's going cheap. So um, I need space over the money to move. So that's benefiting other people which is fine which i'm glad to do for other people that's that's cool so um yeah it's been crazy so we've got certain pieces ready in a week or more in a couple weeks we're going to head to uh florida where we're going to end up and uh find a place and then move so we'll kind of be documenting some of that along the way um and what that's like and all the things that we do so but today uh, we're going to cover, you know, I recently dumped Firefox, just getting rid of it. Don't like their, don't like the fact that they push a political stance. I don't care which side it's on. I don't really want them pushing anything. You're supposed to be a browser. You're just supposed to give me a way to get to the internet. You're not supposed to manipulate me or tell me what is truth or what is false, right? That's not your job. Your job is just to provide a piece of software that gets me to the internet. So I kind of moved and looked around a little bit and um, a lot of people have uh, found Brave, the Brave browser, and I've started using it, uh, but I just wanted to go through a quick setup of it and some of the things that I've changed and updated in the Brave browser um, as we, you know, as I set it up and install it on different, uh, different systems. Now it says, of course, it's faster than Chrome, but everybody's faster than Chrome, I think. Chrome's kind of a, kind of a big beast of a browser. Um, so we're going to download Brave. So if we hit the download button, downloads here, Brave setup. Uh, there is, if we look here um, directly under the download thing, it's Windows 64, Windows 32-bit, Mac OS Intel, Mac OS ARM64. So that's the uh, new M1 chip that uh, Apple has. So if you have one of the new Macs that has the M1 chip, you can run the Brave browser. And Linux, which is another very important uh, operating system that I use a lot is Linux. So um, I got to have pretty much all of them covered there. So that's cool. Uh, setup runs pretty quickly. Click the little button here and say, yes, we're going to set it up and zoom. Here we go. Similar installation to Chrome. I mean, it is Chromium based. So uh, it has a downloader that just downloads the application. Um, and seven seconds, six seconds, and here we go. Download complete. All right, get a quick install. There's some features that, that I, you know, almost immediately turn off that I didn't really like that much. So uh, we'll go over those nice other nice things that it does uh, allow me to uh, use some of the plugins that I normally use, which of course is things like LastPass. That's like, you know, a basic, basic thing, you know, is LastPass. You need that wherever you go, right? So you can import your bookmarks um, if you choose from Edge or Internet Explorer. I don't have any on this computer. Uh, safe and sound brave shields it has a little ad blocking and stuff built into it naturally like many browsers are so it's you get that by default um, you can pick your search engine so you don't need to use google you don't need to use bing i've been using DuckDuckGo, uh, which seems to be doing really well um, they have a rewards thing um, so earn tokens by viewing brave private ads and support content creators automatically so that uh, i think that's also supporting brave so you can turn that on or turn that off um, as you will i'm currently i'm i'm leaving it off at this point until i want to want to turn it on now it has kind of a a lot of stuff here on the front so we can go in and we can change some of this stuff because i don't really need all this i don't need the whole 
you know, Bing thing where they have a big image and, and a bunch of other stuff on the front page. I just don't, don't need that. Don't want it. I just, you're just, you know, let's get it, let's get us back to a browser. Okay. So we can do some different things so we can make Brave our default browser. Clicks the little button, come down here, web browser is going to be Brave. And of course, Microsoft's going to try and force you back into Edge, but no, we don't want that. The point is to get away from uh, companies that are you know, using all of your data. Okay. So we can do some things on startup, a new page or continue where you left off. Um, I usually set that to new page. Um, you have different colors, so you can set different themes. Um, and I went through and I picked, uh, these are themes actually from the Chrome web store. So uh, let's see, view all, I went in and I just picked. I'm very utilitarian, so when I pick these things, so I usually pick something that's just very basic. Um, I think the one I picked on the other system was just the blue, um, so, but we're gonna skip that for right now. So, okay, back to settings, and let's bring up the page here. Come on. All right, well, let's exit and go back in. Put that out so that it's. Um, Okay. Okay, so so here we get down to the appearance stuff. So the brave colors, same as windows or dark and light. Uh, so show bookmarks, use wide address bar that just takes the address bar that's on the top. It makes it a little wider all the way across, but narrow is fine because up in the top corner, I'm going to be adding, of course, some Let's move this down a little bit so you can see that uh, wide address bar, narrow address bar. But I'm going to be adding some things up here, some add-ins. Uh, show autocomplete, that is fine. Show top sites and autocomplete, I guess that's fine. Show brave suggestions. Hide brave rewards button. So I'm going to do that so that takes that little button that's up there. You can see it come on and off. There, we don't need the brave rewards button. Always show bookmarks on new page. Uh, I don't really want that. I will show full URLs that I want. I want to be able to see, you know, I don't need you shortening anything or doing anything like that. Just, you know, that's fine. So we got a font size. We got the page zoom, uh, things like that. New tab page shows dashboard. So that's this whole thing where they've got all this stuff on it. And luckily there's a you can switch it to blank page. So that's exactly what I want. I want blank page. When I do a new page, boom, that's all you get. You just get a blank page and you can just, you know, search for whatever you want, duck, duck, go, and uh, boom, there you got to search for, you know, stuff very nice and clean. I'm very into clean. Okay, here. So there is a sync. I'm not sure if this one is one that's going away. Uh, because Google had announced that they were taking their ability to sync away from browsers that they had built into Chrome. So I don't know if this one's going away. I'll have to do some research on that, but I'm not gonna sync right now. Okay, now we get down here to block ad tracker. So this is automatically built in. You don't like uh, in uh, Chrome, I will download um, uBlock Origin typically and uBlock Origin you know, does all the blocking and, and stuff where here we can, uh, it'll do it built in natively. Whether I mean, whether you want native built in, that means you're dealing, you're using Brave, you're trusting Brave to do it, but you have to trust somebody so to do the ad blocking for you. But I usually turn on the advanced view so I can get a little bit better view of what it's blocking and things like that. You can track as you, there's different standard levels, there's disabled standard or aggressive. So if you really wanna go, Crazy, you can set it to aggressive. Uh, the upgrade connections to HTTPS, that is definitely need to turn that on. Uh, you can block scripts or you can block cross-site cookies, which is very good for keeping you private, you know, all these different add-ins and script kitties that get put in for tracking how you're going on. Just, you want the cookies that are for that site so it remembers who you are 
and you know what you're doing and what you're you know so maybe you don't you know your next login it knows you know your username or something like that and then that's the that site cookies but if you want you don't want all the cookies from all the other adware and all this other stuff that's coming across you don't want that so just maintain the site that you're on's cookies and forget everybody else's block everybody else's so fingerprint knowing using screen size analytics and different things about your browser uh, blocking you can set that to strict standard or disabled and they tell you strict is going to might break some sites but you know if you really want to be strict about it you can so social media blocking now this is where i thought this was a good thing to have so allow google login button on third party sites so i typically don't try to use google when i log into if it says you can log in with google or facebook or whatever so no I'm going to use this LastPass, and I'm going to use that to keep my login, and that's going to be unique to that site. So I, this is nice. I can turn that off. Allow Facebook logins, so I can turn that off. Allow Twitter embedded tweets, so I can turn that off. I can turn all these things off that kind of flow to let you jump you logging into other sites that you don't know about, you know, that, that somebody might bring up uh, or link to or something. So that, that I really liked. Um, we're switching our search engine to DuckDuckGo. Um, it does have uh, uh, crypto wallets and stuff built into it that you can use. I don't use any crypto anything, but... And then allow Google login for extensions. That's allows you, because you can put extensions in here, just the same Chrome extensions that you could in regular Google Chrome. And whether you want to allow lo Google login, like I said, I prefer to do my own login stuff. Um, the uh, this IPFS is the uh, file system that allows you to uh, share files kind of between systems. I need to review that and set it up and see how that's going to work. Um, uh, private window with Tor. So now you're getting into you know the Tor network being built in here. So if you want as an additional level of privacy, not just wiping out you know, cookies and not allowing any data to be saved. Now you're pushing all that through the Tor network. So that's even, even more private. So really you can redirect uh, onion sites, which go through the, our Tor sites. So that allows that automatically to go through there. So that's really nice. Um, if you want a really private window to do something, right at Brave has all that nicely, nicely built in. Uh, web torrent if you download a lot of torrents you can do them from inside your browser if you're not using uh, one of the other uh, torrent downloads um, for doing things site um, uh, ask if when a site wants to install web wide vine on your computer so we're going to say yes uh, we've got different extensions you can add all kinds of different extensions in the uh, in their comes from basically the Google Google Store. Um, and you can get more extensions. So I can go and I can find my one extension that I always need, which is LastPass. And I'm searching, there we go. Catching up this uh, LastPass here. Add to Brave, so it works. Uh, add extension and should come up here and be installed i see it down here downloading and it's going to install so it basically it uses all of the same uh, extensions just the way google chrome does so that it's it's chromium right so and up here you can see this uh, little brave shields has blocked information uh, from the site 32 trackers and ads blocked uh, all that so that's you know telling me that it's it's doing some work just like you block origin was doing so now that's actually working really well um so LastPass is going to want me to log in which i'm not going to but so uh, let's we can now the one thing that brave does is it puts all the extensions underneath this little puzzle piece so you could click on that and come down and click the little push pin and then that moves that extension into the address bar area. So 
If you're wondering where your extension went when you loaded Brave, that's where it is. It's underneath the little puzzle piece, and then you pin it to your your address bar here for easy access when you're browsing and all that stuff. So, okay. So that's, I mean, there's some additional settings way down here about privacy and autofill and your downloads. Um, it does have all these. So this, these little icons here on the top, this is the, they have a little tab for Brave Rewards. They have a little tab for downloads. They have a little section for all the different things that, that Brave does. Um, but it can't, it does get out of the way pretty easily. So that's the Brave Rewards. If you want to sign up for their rewards and do whatever tokens they are, you can do that. I'm not going to. Um, so, but um, it works. It seems to be good. None of the sites that I typically go to are breaking. Um, and the nice thing is I can get just this really, really clean look when I go to a new tab and, and open the browser. Right? I, I just want to go... And if I had my bookmarks, I could do some bookmarks here. But once I get it open and ready to run, boom, I'm ready to rock and roll. I can just spell Disney wrong and search for that and see if DuckDuckGo can fix that. Yes, I would search including results for Disney. Okay. So it works. It's clean. It's fast. And that's really what I want a browser to be. I want everything else to get out of the way. It handles all my extensions and and all that just seems to be fine i mean if you want to sign up for their they have that vpn service and and different things you can do a few different things like that but i have my own uh i use surfshark for for vpn uh so i can just plug that in there and use surfshark for other private browsing but seems to work really well i haven't had any problems uh with brave so far so that's the brave browser um i've been using it for uh, about six months i just finally since firefox went a little crazy i dumped them and just kind of went straight over to brave and uh, i'm using that pretty much full time now uh, so it's been good covers all the operating systems that i need because i have i do have linux devices i do have windows devices i do have uh, mac laptops and i have uh, an ipad and i have android phone so i need something that covers everything and it does so that's been good all right well thanks for watching this if you have any comments about what browser you're using or if you've left firefox or not let me know and maybe if you see a browser that i'm not using maybe i'll check it out all right thanks for watching take care